Welcome to a radar review of the North Texas Damaging Wind Event from June 9, 2019. We'll start off with a radar image from 1.03 p.m. in which we see a cluster of strong to severe thunderstorms just north of the U.S. Highway 380 corridor. Already at this time, a wind gust of 60 miles per hour was observed at the Denton Airport at 12.57 p.m. Now we'll mark here in this white dashed line the area of outflow, which is the cold, dense air rushing out of these thunderstorms and pushing to the south and encountering warm, unstable air where temperatures had risen into the upper 80s to lower 90s. And as this outflow moved south, it was the leading edge of the gusty, damaging winds, and it also helped to develop new thunderstorms, especially on the eastern edge of this complex where we saw some of the worst wind damage. As this complex pushed south into portions of Dallas County, we started to see more enhanced wind damage from parts of northern Dallas towards eastern Dallas through the 2 o'clock hour. We'll zoom in towards Dallas County at 1.44 p.m. and the first thing we notice is this core of very heavy precipitation noted on radar near the 635 and 75 interchange. It was also associated with an area of very strong winds as we observed on radar upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour plus. Another thing we can look at on radar is a product known as differential reflectivity, which helps tell us the shape of the precipitation particles that we're looking at. We'll zoom into this area, again centered on the 635-75 interchange, and what we'll notice here, and we highlight in this dashed line, are these areas of, or this area of low differential reflectivity values. Now these happen to be associated with very high intensity or high intensity of precipitation, as we see in our typical radar data, what's known as reflectivity. And so this signature tells us actually that we have a lot of hail present here. So not only was there damaging wind, but we had a lot of hail crashing towards the surface, which also helped to generate some of that damaging wind. And so here in this area, we saw some of the most intense wind-driven hail damage. This intense precipitation core and downdraft and winds associated with that downdraft spread out across parts of northern Dallas and headed into eastern Dallas. And this is what led to some of the most extensive tree and power line damage across northern portions and eastern portions of Dallas and then also extending down towards downtown Dallas. Another way we can view the evolution of the storm is by taking an, a slice essentially through the storm and reconstructing our radar data in that manner. And so here at 1.31 p.m. across far northern Dallas County, if we look at this vertical view of the storm, we see very intense precipitation starting to develop aloft as we had a strengthening updraft across northern portions of Dallas. Now another way we can look at this strengthening updraft is through that product I talked about before known as differential reflectivity. Notice this area of intense red colors, these higher values of differential reflectivity, and I'll highlight them right there. These are actually associated with a strong or strengthening updraft that was lofting lots of precipitation way up into the air as this upward motion associated with our updraft, essentially the engine of the thunderstorm was really starting to rev up. And in response, we'll see at 1.36 p.m., we had this elevated lofted core of very intense rain and hail uh, as far aloft as 30 to 40,000 feet above ground level. And so at this point, this heavy core precipitation only has one place to go, which is down towards the ground. And at this time, it was lofted right on top of the 635-75 corridor. And so as we move forward to 1.42 p.m., we can see it crash towards the ground, starting to reach areas across northern Dallas. And then especially at 147, we continue to see our core spread off to the southeast, so initially giving us some of that wind-driven hail damage that was centered on areas near the Central Expressway as you approach the 635 interchange. And then all of that rain-cooled and precipitation-cooled air that crashed into the ground spread out in a preferred direction towards the southeast, so it started to head towards areas across eastern Dallas and the White Rock Lake area where we saw some of the more extensive wind damage as winds were gusting 60 to 70 miles per hour plus uh, during the minutes approaching the 2 o'clock hour. So this has been a radar review of the North Texas Damaging Wind Event from Sunday, June 9th, 2019.